In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to find the uh, equation that relates to variables uh, from a table if it happens to be a cubic function. This is the uh, third in a series of videos on the same topic. Uh, there's another video on my channel if it happens to be a linear function and one for a quadratic and this is the cubic example. Now when you look at the table first you wouldn't know whether it's linear, linear quadratic or cubic so you'd have to start finding the differences. And so we would start by subtracting y values. Now, uh, of course, before you do that, make sure that your x coordinates are in order. And we generally want them in ascending order from the uh, first one here to the last one here. So it goes negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we would start by taking negative 4 and subtract 27 from it. So negative 4 minus 27. And so it's changed 31 down. So the first difference here would be 31 down. Uh, make sure you do subtract in the right order because it's actually the change from this y variable to this y variable. And so for the next one, we would go negative 9 in the calculator. And we would subtract from that the negative 4. And so this difference of negative 5 has gone down 5 from negative 4 to negative 9. From negative 9 to negative 12, it's gone down 3, so we would have a negative 3 next. And then it's gone down 20, down 25, so negative 25. Uh, down 71, and then uh, down negative 141. Now the first differences are different, they're not all the same, so that's how we would know that it's not linear. So next we would go to the second differences. So we would take negative 5 and subtract negative 31 from it. So that's actually a change of 26. It's gone up 26 from negative 31 to negative 5. From negative 5 to negative 3, it's gone up 2. So the next second difference is 2. So right away we'd know it's not quadratic because those two are not the same. From negative 3 to negative 25, it's gone down 22. Negative, uh, negative 25 to negative 71 has gone down 46 and then down 70 from negative 71 to negative 141. So all the second differences are different, so it's not a quadratic. And so we would do uh, differences again. So 2 take away 26. From 26 to 2, it's gone down 24. From 2 to negative 22, it's gone down 24. So right away, this looks like it's going to be cubic because it's the third differences are the same. From negative 22 to negative 46, it's gone down 24 again, and same here. So as soon as your third differences are the same, then we would know that it's a cubic function. Now, when you do your difference table, if, for example, you got out here and only, let's say, one of the numbers wasn't negative 24 or the same as the others, then that would probably indicate that there's an arithmetic error fairly close to the end here. So if you get a row of differences that are almost all the same except one, you've probably got an arithmetic error. That's probably. So now that we have, uh, we know it's cubic, we have to create the generic um, table for a cubic function. And so I'm going to call the function y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. If you want to use different constants, that's fine. Uh, it makes this uh, a little bit less complicated if you use the same x values for the generic table that you do for your th whatever table you're given. So for example, if your table started at 0, then start this generic one down here at 0. So if I put negative 2 in place of x here, here, and here, this is what it looks like. And so notice we're substituting negative 2 in place of x, not in place of a or b or c or d. And so negative 2 cubed would be negative 8, so that's going to be negative 8a. This uh, negative 2 squared is 4, so that's going to be a 4b. And uh, negative 2 times uh, c would be negative 2c. So this is uh, what that y value will look like. And then we'll put negative 1 in place of x. And so negative 1 cubed is negative 1, so this would be a negative a. A negative 1 squared is positive 1, so it would be a plus b. And negative 1 times c would be a negative c. And so this is what that y value will look like. If we put 0 in, uh, of course, 0 cubed, 0 squared, and anything times 0 is 0. So this will all be 0, and then we're just left with d for that y value. So if we put 1 in, a uh, very similar calculation to the one that was up here, except um, all the powers are going to be positive. So you just get rid of the negative signs here. So it's going to be uh, a plus b plus c plus d. 
And similar with the two, when we put the two in, very similar to this one, except there won't be any negatives. And then we put three, uh, three cubes, 27, so that's going to be 27a, three squared is nine, so it'd be 9b here, plus 3c plus d. And then the four. And so that works out to that expression. So now we find the, uh, the differences. So uh, to go from this y value to this y value, or function value, we subtract, just like I subtracted negative 4, take away 27 to get the negative 31. Uh, I'll take this y value and subtract that one from it. I'm going to show a few of these calculations. So there's the uh, y value opposite the negative 1 minus uh, the y value for the negative 2. And when you take the brackets off here, remember, this is really a negative 1. So when it distributes in here, all these signs will change. So it's going to be a plus 8a, minus a 4b, plus 2c, and minus a d. And so we collect like terms. Negative a and positive 8a would be a 7a. b minus 4b would ne be negative 3b. And negative c plus 2c would be a c, a 1c. Uh, notice the d's are the same. So it's, a, well they're opposites. D minus D is 0, so there's no D's here. You see all these D's are a 1D, so the change from D to D in each case is nothing. So that's why there's no D's at all here. So this is the uh, first difference from here to here. So next we will go and uh, find the difference from, from this one to this one. And so we would take this D here and subtract from it this Y value, which is what's in the brackets here. Remove the brackets and we get a minus b plus c. Of course, the d minus d is 0. So a minus b plus c is the next uh, first difference. Um, once you get out of the negatives, it's probably easier to see how it's changing. You see there's no a's here. I'll do the next one. There's no a's here. For, so from 0 a to a is, is you go up an a. Uh, from no b's to b, you go up a b. Uh, from no c's, there's no c's there to up to one C has gone up a C. So that's A plus B plus C is the difference. Uh, from this one to this one, from 1A to 8A, is, it goes up 7A. From 1B to 4B, it goes up 3B. And from 1C to 2C, it goes up a C. And then so we subtract again. 27 minus 8 is 19, so up 19A. 9 minus 4 is 5, so up 5B. And again, no, notice the Cs, they all differ by 1. So there's a plus C in every single case here. And then the last one, uh, from 27 to 64, goes up 37, so 37A. From 9 to 16, goes up 7, so plus 7B, and then up another C again. So now we need to find the second differences. So we would take this, uh, di this uh, expression here and subtract that one from it. And so I'll show this one out here, A minus B plus C minus this expression. So we take the brackets off, so it would be a minus 7A, and then plus a 3B, and then minus a C. So a take away 7a is negative 6a, negative b plus 3b is 2b, and then c minus c is no c's. Again, there's a c here, one c in every case, so all these differences here won't have any c's, just like there was d's in all of these, one d's, so there's no d's here at all. So negative uh, 6a plus 2b is the next, is the first second difference. To go from this one to this one, from a to a, well, it hasn't changed at all, so no a's. From negative 1b to positive 1b, it's gone up 2b. And again, the c's are all the same, so there's no uh, c there at all. From 1a to 7a, it goes up 6a. From 1b to 3b, it goes up 2b. And again, no c's. From 7 to 19 is an increase of 12, so that would be 12a. From 3 to 5 is 2, so up plus 2b. And then again, 37 minus 19 is 18, so that would be an 18a you've increased. And from 5b to 7b is a 2b increase. And again, uh, those, are, of course, are all different, so we would do the third differences next. And so I'll show the uh, first calculation over here. We would take this 2b right here and subtract from it the negative 6a plus 2b. So remember, that uh, negative 1 there distributes in, and so that'll change to a plus 6a and then a minus 2b. So 2b minus 2b is nothing. Uh, notice that there's two b's in, the, in every case here, so the difference from b term to b term in every single case would be no b's, zero b's. So it's really just the, uh, the difference between the a's. So 2b minus 2b is nothing, or zero, and so we just get 6a. So from here to here, it's increased 6a. 
Uh, think of this as well, there's no A's here. From no A's to 6A, it's gone up 6A. From 6A to 12A, it's gone up another 6A. And 12A to 18A, it's gone up another 6A. So notice the third differences are all the same, and they should be because it's a cubic function. So now we can start finding the values for a, b, c, and d. So once we know all those constants, then we know the equation that relates these y values to these x values. So the first thing I'm going to do is, and, and this is why it, it's a good idea to use the same x values, because it's, it's easier then to locate what uh, first or second or third differences over here are equivalent to or match up with uh, the ones in your actual numerical table. Now, it really doesn't really matter which 6a you equate to which negative 24 because these are all the same and these are all the same. But just to be consistent, uh, I chose the, the top 6a third difference with the top uh, third difference here. So I can set this 6a equal to negative 24 and solve for a. So if I divide out the 6, I'll get a to be negative 4. So my equation is going to be negative 4x cubed. Next, and it really doesn't matter which ones you pick. Uh, generally, I work backwards. It kind of, kind of looks like backwards here. I'm going to find A, and then I'm going to use this to find B, and then I'm going to use one of uh, these over here to find C, etc. So I chose the 6A plus 2B, and so that's the uh, third second difference in the top, so it would equal the third second difference in the top here. Um, I could have said, why don't we let 2B equal 2, um, and that will work. There's nothing wrong with that. I just didn't. The, um, I just didn't want to make this seem easier. And not that it's difficult, but uh, um, I just chose that. When you can choose any one of these and equate them with to whichever one it corresponds to here. So uh, my six a plus two b would equal the negative twenty two. And I know that a is negative four, so I'm going to put negative four here. And so that's negative twenty four. So if we add 24 to both sides, or bring the 24 over and add it to the negative 22, you get uh, 2b equals 2, which is the same thing you would have got if you let this 2b equal this 2, and so b is 1. So now that we know that b is 1, we can find c. So we'll take one of these first differences and equate them to its equivalent 1, the one it matches up with up here. And so I'm going to use the a plus b plus c one, but it really doesn't matter which one. Uh, that That is the third first difference in the top, so it would equal the third first difference from the top up here. So up here I'll write uh, the a plus b plus c equals negative 3. And again, I, I already know negative 4 is the a value and 1 is the b value, so I can substitute those in. And so negative 4 and 1 add to negative 3. So if we add 3 to both sides, or bring this negative 3 over and add it to the positive 3, or sorry, I guess it would be a positive 3 add to the negative 3, uh, we would get c to be 0. So the c constant is 0, so there is no x term in the equation we're looking for. Now, um, I could choose any one of these y value expressions and equate them to um, the, whatever it corresponds to within the table up here. The simplest one to use, though, is this one here. Uh, d is the y-intercept. D is the y value when x is 0. So it would equal the uh, y value when x is 0 up here. So for that reason, D is equal to negative 9. So D equals negative 9. So now that I know the values of A, B, C, and D, I can write out my equation. So the equation that relates x and y is, uh, I found that A was negative 4, so it's y equals negative 4x cubed. I found that b was 1, so it would be plus 1x squared, so that's why it's just plus an x squared here. And c is 0, so there's no x's, and the constant d is negative 9, so there's a minus 9 to the end of that equation. And so that's the equation that relates x to y. And that's the end of the tutorial.